The Honorable Melford Nicholas explains the benefit of a judge's expertise in the drafting of such legislation. He shared the information during Monday's cabinet debriefing. We sent it to Parliament in short order uh, to bring it to be in the full um, aspect of the university campus, um, University of the West Indies Antigua campus. And um, we did get a report from Justice Thomas that uh, uh, negotiations are currently underway with the Chancellery of the University of the West Indies, and uh, these measures are, are in train as we speak. Meanwhile, the board of the University College of Antigua and Barbuda is chaired by the principal of the Antigua State College. He was invited to present a status report to the cabinet on work being undertaken on the campus, and he told them that among other work needed to bring the facility up to standard was improvements to facets of the nursing department. We um, did get a report that they required additional infusion of, of capital and some support from other agencies of the government to ensure that the full operations of the School of Nursing at the campus um, for the upcoming quarter um, was given um, due consideration. They did ask for an additional amount of uh, capital to be able to equip not only a simulation center for the nurses, but uh, to make modifications to the plant as it now stands. And the initial requirement would be for the amount of $1 million. The minister explains that government is putting measures in place to ensure the modifications are made. Improvements will be made to the library, while the electricity switch tripping, which has resulted in outages caused by air conditioning units, will likewise be addressed. An improved landscape is also in the pipeline. This is Aisha Caleb reporting for ABS News.